If you're trying to figure out cap cut fast, this video is for you. Don't make the mistake of jumping off the deep end and overcomplicating the editing process right off the bat. We have videos to create, so we're gonna walk through CapCut on my phone step-by-step step following the BFF process that's outlined in the social video blueprint. So you don't miss any steps here or end up with a video that looks or sounds bad. So I'm going to assume that you already have some clips recorded onto your phone. I'm gonna open up CapCut here. I'm gonna start a new project here at the top. I recorded something just a few minutes ago. I have to figure out which of these clips I want to import. I can play each of these clips and I'm just browsing through the clips on my phone to figure out what I'm going to import into CapCut. And then in the top right over here where you can see that one, I just tapped that circle, that blank circle, because I know that I want to import that. And you can see it, we, we went from one to two to three, but you can browse each of your video clips like I just did. Or if you know which clips you want to import, you could go through and check off all of these. Down at the bottom, it says add nine. And you can see I even have a little bit of a timeline already being set up for me here. So we'll hit add nine. It's going to take those clips and add those to the cap cut timeline down here at the bottom. You can see I'm just moving back and forth with my finger. So using the BFF process here that I mentioned, we're gonna start with basic edits, then we're going to fine tune those edits, then we're gonna make it fancy. And even if you're thinking, I don't really need a fancy video, trust me, you're going to wanna do some of these things. Now, before we get to those edits, let me show you around the interface here. It's actually really, really simple. So you already know you have your timeline down here at the very bottom, and below that is where you have these tools. And I'm just using my finger to swipe over. Within each of these options at the bottom, you will have more options come up and then you just tap that arrow on the bottom left to get back to this main tools menu. Moving up right above our timeline, you can see where you're at in the video. So you can see this video is one minute, 28 seconds long. We have a play button right here in the middle. On the way right hand side, we can expand that video. So you can preview this full screen. Just tap the bottom right icon again and it will go back. And then once you start making changes, you'll see that you have the, it's it's actually hard to tell that it's an arrow, but there's like an undo arrow and a redo arrow. You'll also notice that once you have a clip selected, you have this option, that little diamond with a plus button, that is to add a keyframe. That's more of an advanced uh, advanced topic for CapCut, even for, for all video editing platforms. So we're not going to mess with those, but that's what that diamond is in case you see it. Moving up, you can see the preview window. That's where my face is over here. So that is what your video is going to look like. If you have a clip selected on the timeline, just just tap it to select it. You can actually change and reframe here. If you wanted to zoom in a little bit or crop something out, you can do that really easily just by pinching and zooming. And then on the very top bar here, you see on the left, there's the X to X out of that. It's going to save automatically. On the far right side, you have the export button. I don't really want to export this quite yet. Next to the export button where it says 1080p, this is where you can select the different resolutions and frame rate options that you have available. When I'm creating a TikTok, a reel, a short, anything like that, it's always 1080p. 30 frames per second. Like I said, the interface is actually relatively simple. So let's dive into the basic editing functions of CapCut. So following the BFF method, we have already imported all of our A-roll clips to this timeline. A-roll is where we're talking to the camera, kind of like what I'm doing right now. The next thing we want to do is go through and trim those timelines. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you're recording a short form vertical video, especially for TikTok reels or shorts, you want to make sure you're not wasting the viewer's time. You want to hold their attention. You know what they say, we all have the attention span of a goldfish, right? So we want to trim the beginning and the end of each clip so that we're trimming out any places where we're taking a breath or even taking a moment to like gather our thoughts. So here's what I mean by that. I'm going to just 
scroll with my finger to about where I start to see my mouth move because then I know that's where I start talking, right? If you grab with your fingertip, grab that handle on the left-hand side and just pull it over, it's going to snap to where your scrubber bar is. That's that vertical bar there right in the middle. The other way of doing this is to find the spot. So put that scrubber bar in the spot where you want to make a cut or make a trim. And as long as that clip is selected, like so, you're going to hit split in the bottom left. And that's going to split that clip into two sections. Now I'm going to take my fingers and I'm pinching to zoom here so that you can see we have our split right about there. That little white square, if you tap it, that is how you can add a transition between these two clips. We're not going to do that quite yet. And now you can treat the second clip just like an any clip, right? Or maybe you just want to delete it. So as long as it's selected, just hit that trash can in the bottom and it will delete. So there's two different ways of trimming your clips. Either trim the ends so that you just have where you're talking and you're kind of trimming out where you're not talking or split your clips and delete the parts that you don't want there. I wanna show you one thing that you're gonna want to know uh, possibly, and that's how to rearrange these clips. Let's say you want to move uh, this clip here, you're going to select it. So it's selected just like this. All you have to do is hold it down and just move it down. I'm, I'm still holding down and that's going to move it to the very beginning of my uh, timeline here. So to finish out the basic edits for this BFF process, we have titles and text. Now here within CapCut, since I'm creating a short form vertical video, I like to put captions on my videos because I do upload them to TikTok, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, and YouTube Shorts. And the captions for those are all kind of different and they vary and I'd like to just edit them the one time and then upload them with captions. So this is actually one of my favorite features of CapCut. I'm going to come down here under text. We're going to tap that and we're going to choose auto captions. We're going to use the original sound. I'm going to hit continue and you can see at the top it says it's creating auto captions. You can see them below my video clip here on that timeline. So if I select it, you can kind of edit it just like you would a regular clip. If you wanted to change the timing, you know, how long it's on the screen, you could trim it. To edit this, we double tap it. I like to put my captions on more than one line if they're getting a little bit too long. So we're just gonna go through, double tap each of these and make sure that it makes sense. So once you have all of your captions edited, then we can look at changing the style of the captions so they're a little bit easier to read. Now I usually take mine and raise them up just a little bit and then down here under style, you can choose the different types of fonts. I just keep mine with the main system font. I think that's the easiest one to read. You don't have to get crazy with it here. And then come over to style. What I like to do is make my text white and then um, way down here at the bottom, see all these colors down here, right above this color selection, you see text, stroke, canvas, shadow, spacing. Tap one of these, you're gonna change the color of the text. What I want to do instead is go over to Canvas, and Canvas is going to give us that background. Since this is going to be captions, we're just going to make it black. We already went into the fine tune a little bit. So the F in BFF, that middle F there, is to clean up your jump cut. So that's what we did when we went through here and trimmed up our jump cuts just a little bit or cut some things out. So the next thing in that fine tune phase is to add any B-roll that you might have. B-roll is when you shoot some extra video footage that isn't where you're just talking to the camera, but it's footage that can be on the screen, you know, show, not just tell. What you're going to do is at the very bottom where it says edit audio text, you're going to choose overlay and then hit add overlay. And you're going to just simply find 
any video that you have here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to choose a screen recording that I did of the social video blueprint that I've already talked about. We'll choose that as our overlay and I'm going to hit add and it actually goes into the timeline on its own track. You can see I need to adjust this because it's not filling out my screen. So I'm just going to pinch and make it a little bit bigger, but we can control it just like a regular video clip. We can decide where we want it to start. We can make it a little bit shorter. Now we've adjusted it just like you would with your basic edits of your A-roll. Now still in this fine tuning phase, I want to draw your attention to your audio and think about the volume. It really helps if you are wearing AirPods or headphones or something, um, or you're in a room without a lot of background noise, just to make sure that the video you're creating is going to have the best possible sound for the viewers who are going to be watching it. Typically what you will wanna do here is select one of your clips, choose volume down there at the bottom, and you can adjust the volume either way, up or down. So when you're done doing that, you can hit the uh, check mark there. Now voiceovers are actually pretty easy to do here inside of CapCut. You're just gonna come down to audio. You're gonna choose voiceover over on the right hand side. You're going to, like it says, hold to record. So if I press hold, it's gonna record and you can actually watch your video play back for you while you're talking to it. When you're done, you just lift your thumb. If you want to start recording again, you just hold it down and I'm just pressing and holding here as it's recording. When I'm done, I'm gonna hit the check mark there and then you can edit these audio uh, recordings just like you would if you need to trim a little off the end or the beginning or split or rearrange, you can do that too. So that covers the fine tune phase of the BFF process for editing your videos. Now, when it comes to getting a little bit fancy, you have to bring in a few other elements like your lower thirds or background music or even sound effects. Now I download my sound effects and background music from Epidemic Sound because they have a great selection they have music in every genre imaginable. And I don't run into any copyright issues because my license covers my YouTube channel, TikTok, and Instagram. So on my phone, I'm going to browse through Epidemic Sound website here. It's so easy to find background music that you like and that are it's going to work for your project. I always like to hit that heart icon there, which saves these tracks that I like to like a favorites folder so that I don't have to keep trying to find music that I like. Um, and so when I find something that I want to use for my project, I just download it. And this will download directly to my phone. I usually select on my iPhone inside of the files app on my iPhone. Now, the best part is I've teamed up with Epidemic Sound to bring you an exclusive offer on their service. So you can sign up to their annual personal plan of Epidemic Sound with my code VIDPRO50 to get 50% off. Just use the link in my description and then enter that code at checkout. Now, I have a few different sound effects and things downloaded. I have one here. Let's see. I'm going to tap and hold this one and I'm going to choose to share and it's going to ask us where we wanna share it to, import audio to CapCut. And you can see, because I had my video edit open in CapCut, that it went right here to my timeline. You can see it right there. Sounds like a little pop, right? Now, when it comes to adding a piece of background music, we are, of course, going to do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna come over to my files and we're gonna to go to share. So we just tap and hold on that file in the files application. I'm gonna to go to share and it's going to ask us where we wanna share it to. I'm gonna choose CapCut, import audio to CapCut. And now we have our background music here. Again, we can edit that background music just like you would any clip. You want to pay very close attention to the volume of that background music because it can really overpower what you're saying. So bring that volume down to like 10% or even less if you're speaking in your video and you just want a little bit of background music. I'm going to import it wherever that white vertical scrubber bar happens to be and it will just create another track 
if it needs to. Okay, now what about your lower thirds, like where you want to have your name come up in an animation while you're talking? Well, in order to do that, you're going to have to have a an animation file that has a green screen like the one that I have here. So this is my lower third from my YouTube videos. You can see it, it's an animation, but the screen is green. So we're gonna get rid of the green, but first we need to import it into our project. So down at the bottom left, I'm gonna hit share. Again, same thing, we're gonna come over here, share it to CapCut, import our footage to CapCut, and now it's here as its own clip. We want it to be an overlaid clip, right? So we're gonna make sure that it's selected. We're gonna slide over here in our menu at the very bottom, choose overlay. And now that clip is here as an overlay, but it's still green. We have to get rid of that. So we still have that clip selected and I'm gonna come all the way over here again until we get to chroma key. And what this is gonna do, you can move, use your finger to just move that target around so that it's on the color that you want to get rid of. So we have it on the green color and then you're gonna choose the intensity button. It's all the way down to zero. That slider is all the way down to zero. If you slide it up, you can see that it starts to go away. So just when it starts to go away, you're going to hit that check mark on the bottom. Now it has this aqua colored outline around it. That's because the clip is selected. If I tap off and deselect the clip, it's not, there's no outline, right? So it just lets you know this is the clip that's selected. Now all we have to do is change where it is on the screen. So with that clip selected, you could just drag it wherever you want it to go. And I'm gonna pinch and zoom with my fingers. We'll put it like right about here. And then I'm gonna deselect and let's watch that one part. So we had our background music and then remember I had muted my audio. So that's why you couldn't hear me speaking, but you could hear the background music. So that's how you can get a little bit fancy. Just import your background music, any sound effects you might have if you have something kind of popping onto the screen. Just make sure you edit that audio and bring the volume of those things down and then bring in your lower thirds, place them, remove that green background and you have yourself a really fancy edit. Now, as you could see from all of the different functions that you have down here um, within CapCut, there are a ton of editing tools. We just covered the basics, the fine tune, and the fancy, the BFF. Just don't forget everything about that BFF editing process is laid out inside of the social video blueprint, which is a totally free download. It's a PDF. It includes my entire editing workflow, the BFF process, my blocks, script process for planning out your YouTube videos and a content organizer that you can copy for yourself so that you can stay organized. When you are organized, your editing will be so much faster. You can create more videos and really grow your audience by being consistent with your video content. So I'll put a link to the social video blueprint down below this video. It is completely free. Now I mentioned there are some traps you could fall into when it comes to background music. So I've queued up my next video over here for you. I mentioned that you wanna be careful with the volume, but you also wanna be careful with where you get your music because copyright free background music is not the same thing as royalty free music.